Weird things people did as kids. What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. Let's dive right in. The first submission. When this guy was a kid, he used to steal things from his sister whenever she was being mean to him. Hey Stacy, I think mom wants you downstairs. Oh, okay. I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take this. <laughs> But he wouldn't just keep them or hide them. He would also take a few of her stuffed animals. He would then cut holes in the stuffed animals and shove the things he stole in there. He would then sew the stuffed animals back together with the stolen items inside. All nice and sewed up. He would put the stuffed animals back in her room and to this day she never found out where those things went. This next person would do science experiments in the bathroom sink. He would go in there and lock the door. Now let's get to work. And he would proceed to put every single cleaner chemical shampoo he could find into the sink in hopes of creating a chemical reaction. <laughs> Blow up. Luckily, nothing bad happened to him because that's incredibly dangerous. Seriously, don't do this. For years when this guy was growing up, he thought whenever he went to the bathroom to poop, he had to put a shower cap on his head. I'm not sure where he heard that from. Next, when this guy was a kid, whenever he wanted to eat goldfish crackers, he would first put them into a bowl of water. Why do you ask? Because he wanted them to have a chance to live like a real fish before he ate them. Alrighty guys, into the bowl you go. You're free to swim around and do whatever fish do for a few minutes. It's the circle of life. What a weird thing to do. And what's even weirder is he's been eating soggy goldfish for years. And last but not least, when this kid was in elementary school, he would walk around his neighborhood every day with his backpack on, looking for roadkill. Oh, a dead raccoon. He would then put the roadkill in his backpack and look for more. Oh, a dead squirrel. Once he gathered enough roadkill, he would take them to his backyard, dig each of them holes, and have a funeral for them. Some days he would even bury up to five roadkill at a time. Here lies my friends. A dead skunk, a dead squirrel, a dead raccoon, a dead cat, and a dead bird. I hope you're all able to rest. Sleep well. Back to work.